Okay, here we go, Dad. I've chosen coaching and scouting. Now, some people like would ask me why I chose this, and then some people would understand why I chose this. Sports have been in my life for as long as I can remember. Now, with that being said, I couldn't see myself without sports. So I couldn't see myself in a factory or teaching or being a doctor. Not saying those jobs aren't good. They're just not what I see myself as. I need to be coaching somebody or doing something along that line. My whole family has been a coach. My dad has coached. My aunt is a coach at South Carolina. My other aunt used to coach at OU. My grandma was a coach, was a coach. At Bath, she is now in the Hall of Fame. So coaching has been in my life for as long as I can remember. Now, how I live in my life is a little bit different than people live theirs. I set goals every day, so when I achieve those goals, when I look back on the day when I'm laying in bed, I can think, man, today was a good day because I achieved that goal. So by setting some goals about my career I want to choose, it makes me strive to be the best at this particular job. First one, first goal, become a graduate assistant. Graduate assistant is one who graduates high, I mean graduates college and gets hired onto a staff. Now he'll do a bunch of grunt work, film, things like that, but it gives him experience. Become an assistant head coach. Now, assistant head coach, he just helps out the head coach, run, like helps him when the coach might have a meeting or something sort of like that. Head coach, everyone knows the head coach is. Um, retire from college as a coach, head coach, and become a high school coach. Win a, a, win a OSSA basketball state championship and be inducted into the Ohio High School Hall of Fame. Now, those are my goals and. If you don't succeed at one of your goals, it's not a big deal, but it makes you shoot for your goals so then you know, okay, I'm almost there, I'll get there. All right, skills needed. The first skill is com communication skills. Now, I'm pretty sure I have the worst communication skills out there. So I literally need to work on those, but I just need to be more comfortable around people, which that I don't know, which I'm really not good at yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep working at that. Decision-making skills. That could come up as in choosing the right players to go in, when should I call a timeout? Um, if a player would get in trouble, should I keep him on the team? Should I kick him off? So, like things like in that nature of, should like me deciding for someone else? And the next one is dedication. That just means you just gotta want it because you're not gonna you're gonna lose time with your family. You're gonna have long hours. You're gonna have a bunch of critics on your back. But that's if you just want it, then all the other stuff is, is gone. Now training needed. I attended four year school. Achieved. A bachelor's degree, I'll be trained in first aid and become a graduate assistant. I've already explained a lot of those, but a bachelor's degree would help me with like a business aspect and make me more qualified so when I um, apply for a job, they see that, bang, I should, I should have the job. Day in the life of a coach. Now, um, I was a water boy about, I think it was a five or six. So I saw, I was a wild boy from my grandma's team at Shawnee. And I really like loved it, so I really paid attention to it. First thing you do, you can create a practice plan. A practice plan with just a piece of paper, tells you everything like time, drill, time, drill, time, drill. So then you can get everything done that you need to be done that day. It's almost like setting your goals. I want to get this done, 
So their goal is done. So they're like, it's not like unorganized and you're not wasting your time. Um, teach others about the game. You gotta teach them about the game. So when you practice, you tell them what's wrong. You watch film, you tell them what's wrong. That in that line of nature. Um, when you had a big game on Friday, the team that that you haven't played yet, you got you got their film. You gotta watch the film. Tell the players there. This kid likes to go right. This kid likes to go left. This guy he shoots a lot of threes. Stuff like that. So when you're you're prepared for the game, and then scout the opponents, which is like film watching, but you go to the game in person because a person six eight on film looks a lot different than six eight in person. So that's a big factor in that situation. Now, a salary for a high school coach. I chose high school coach because a lot of times you just don't jump up to a D1 school unless you've played there or you got connections and that's when you become a graduate assistant. But average high salary, 69,000 a year. Average low salary, 17,000 a year. These can like fluctuate because a lot of times the high school coach, they're a teacher too, so that can add on or even bigger schools like St. Ed or someone just pay for coaching. Now, an NCAA D1 coach can get paid between 150000 to $2.1 million a year. That number also is like ups and downs because in the long run, if you win, you get paid. So the contract says one hundred ten grand. If you win 25 games, you might get another six grand to add on. And that's how it makes you go to, uh, you go to like a Final Four, you get more money. Now, this is probably the hardest slide I have. Hiring your staff. Now, your staff is your, your coaching staff. So, loyalty is probably my most key. I don't want a coach that's going to be talking behind my back, being rude and that type of situation. I want someone that's like, I go into the jungle, he's right behind me. Form, former players. Former players would mean that like, they know what I'm expecting, they know how I want it done, so therefore they can also help me with it because they know what the expectations are. Enable enjoyable people. Now this is what my grandma says, she likes to be around people that were enjoyable. So, Draw people are just people that make practice up. They're not just like a hump in a sack, but they're just, they're fun. So, my next step in life is I'm gonna probably go to a prep school just to further my recruiting as an athlete. Um, a prep school, if you don't know, is a one year school it's in between a college and a high school where I'm still counting as a high schooler, but I'm learning college courses. Achieve my bachelor's degree, become a graduate assistant or college coaching staff, which after my prep school year, I'll go there for four years, play, become a graduate assistant, and then I would work my way up to the ranks and hopefully one day become uh, a college coach and hopefully you guys all see me on TV. So, I wanna say thank you guys. Thank you for watching.